Only a few things in life are as amazing as the birth of a child, and there are also only a few things that are scarier than having that child go through challenges that could affect their well-being, or worse, lead to their death. Quite saddening, right? So you can imagine the terror on the faces of this couple when a scan revealed that their son would be born with a terrifying condition. But what would eventually happen to the baby? Well, get ready for a few tears as I tell you this emotional but uplifting story of a little boy who was born with a giant head. Babies are welcomed into the world with smiles and contagious laughters. But in baby Parker's case, it was different. As soon as his mother saw him, she started trembling from head to toe, and her husband, Andy, who was trying to console her, was also on the brink of tears himself. Yes, they had prepared for this moment. The doctors had told them that their son would be born with a condition, but not even in their wildest imagination had they expected him to look this way. They had even seen it all on the scan before he was born, but now that they were staring at him, they realized that the condition was much worse and more frightening. Will he make it? Will my baby make it? Chrissy cried as he stared at the doctors, looking for even the tiniest glimmer of hope in their eyes, but there was none. The doctors looked hopeless as they weren't sure that the boy stood a chance. But there, in his mother's arm, little Parker, although in pain, was calm, breathing, and he seemed to be fighting for his life. But would he beat the odds? This story all began two years before and it started with Parker's parents, Chrissy and Andy. When asked, Chrissy would describe their relationship as love at first voice. Their meeting wasn't typical as Chrissy had dialed the wrong number, which was Andy's, and that was the start of their beautiful love story. They were both just getting out of a messy relationship and weren't really looking to get into another one soon. So initially, there was a lot of back and forth before they started dating. The moment I saw him on our first date, I knew that Andy was the one for me. But I was afraid to admit it. I had been with people whom I thought I would end up with, but we went our separate ways. So with Andy, I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to take my time, Chrissy said. The romance and love in their relationship increased as time went on. Their friends often teased them about being joined at the hips. Soon enough, the two tied the knot and a year later they found out that they were expecting a child. They were over the moon. They started preparing for the arrival of their child with so much enthusiasm. Their family and friends were equally excited and they threw them an amazing baby shower. The couple took the antenatal care seriously, but sadly, during one of their hospital visits, they got a piece of news that would change the entire course of their lives. A scan revealed that something was wrong with their child. The test results showed that he had hydrocephalus, a disorder in which there's an abnormal amount of buildup of cerebrospinal fluid in the brain. The doctors told the couple that the boy's chances of survival were very slim. Of course, the couple was broken by the doctor's words. They were already in love with their unborn child and couldn't imagine anything happening to him. They sought different opinions from specialists across the city, but they got the same reply. They were told over and over that only surgery could save their son, but the success rate was quite low. Despite how terrible all of these sounded, Chrissy and Andy decided they would be hopeful, strong and pray for a miracle. The day of the delivery finally came and the anticipation was high. They couldn't wait to meet their baby despite everything. The birth process was long and scary, but after many hours of labor, baby Parker was born. Chrissy and Andy had promised themselves that they would welcome Parker with a smile on their faces, but they just couldn't. How could they when the little boy looked so ill? How could they smile when he was in lots of pain? You see, Parker was the most perfect little boy in his parents' eyes, and yet they felt all kinds of negative feelings too. They were really scared and worried for baby Parker. Would he survive? Was his life going to be cut short? Following the scans and diagnoses made during the pregnancy, Parker would have to undergo a series of surgeries, and those surgeries needed to be undertaken immediately. Now, according to their doctors at UCLA Health, hydrocephalus is not completely unheard of. The condition occurs in two in every 1,000 births in the US. However, Parker's condition was quite severe. In normal births, the brain occupies anywhere from 90% to 95% of the cranial cavity, but in Parker's case, his tiny brain only occupied about 5% of his cranial cavity. Quite a lot for the little boy to deal with, I must say. When asked how she felt after Parker's birth, Chrissy said, I was by his side the whole time, talking.
talking to him, praying over him, holding his hand, rubbing his head, that unconditional love just rushes over you and here is this helpless baby that's been entrusted to me and I can't do anything for him. Chrissy wasn't alone in her prayers. Friends and family members visited her and they prayed for little Parker. On the night he was born, our friends held a vigil and they prayed for Parker all night. They called us on a video call and they told us to be hopeful. They said very kind words that we really needed to hear. Andy recounted, A day after Parker's birth, the doctors placed a shunt in his brain to drain the fluid. Afterward, plans for the surgery started and some weeks later, Parker was wheeled into the operating room. But this surgery would only be the first of many in months to come. There was also one question on everyone's lips. Would everyone's effort be in vain? According to Joseph Williams, the MD chief of the plastic and craniofacial surgery, our goal was to go in and re-expand the skull, open the skull up and separate those bones that had grown together. While the doctors operated on Parker in the surgery room, the entire Grelecki family was restless. They had been told that the surgery was a gamble, but guess what? They dared to be hopeful. They decided to believe that Parker would defy the odds. Hours later, the anxious couple finally got word from the doctors that the surgery was a success and they could take Parker home. Regardless of this, the struggle wasn't over yet. Everyone was still worried that Parker could experience some delay in his developmental growth. Besides that, he would still have to go in for many surgeries. At four weeks old, Parker started physical therapy and the boy showed a willingness to pull through. He also continued undergoing more surgeries to ensure the proper draining of the fluid in his brain and to reshape his skull to allow more room for his brain to grow and develop properly. Initially, Chrissy and Andy were worried because they noticed that Parker began to show signs of developmental delay. But Parker, who was determined to survive, suddenly improved and he exceeded everyone's expectations. He even skipped the crawling stage and started walking. Just wow! Who would have thought so? Of course, the experience wasn't an easy one for Parker nor for his parents, but the trio were determined to come out victorious. And Andy and Chrissy were also determined to do everything to make sure Parker had a quality life. Everyone was amazed at the boy's progress and they commended him. He was truly a miracle. Little Parker always had a heart-melting smile for everyone. No matter how bad your day had been, once you came across him, you would just feel better. He was also everyone's favorite at the hospital. All the children at the hospital loved to play with him. Andy and Chrissy knew that they had a blessing for a child and cherished every moment with him. Eventually, Parker underwent all the required surgeries and they were all successful. Here is what he looks like after the surgery. Wow, what a perfect little boy. Now, 14 years later, Parker is healthy and happy and he continues to lead an amazing life. His parents continue to be grateful for his life. When they think back to the prognosis that was given just before his birth, they believe that it was God who performed a miracle to save their child. Everyone around them was happy and especially impressed by how Chrissy and Andy handled the situation. In an interview, Parker's pediatrician, Avril Beckford, said, They totally accepted the little boy without question. They loved him unconditionally. What do you think of this story and how did it move you? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you next time.